shows until 6.30 down here. And joining me now is Adam Bell. And Adam, a lot of people down here excited for the Cat Grizz game, but they're not the only ones excited. That's right. You know, we've seen a lot of hats and shirts. I've been down here the last couple of hours. Lots of excitement going on. But what really surprised me is the number of businesses that are out supporting the Cats. Dozens of signs and posters flood downtown Bozeman, not only in anticipation of the pep rally, but also in support of a team that helps bring a community together. As for the local businesses downtown, this event, combined with a great football team, is something everyone can support. It has a tremendous impact on us. It brings people downtown. It gets people fired up for the game. No, it's great for everything. It's great for MSU. It's great for Bozeman. It's great for the businesses in downtown Bozeman to work together to create the community and the support for the Bobcats going into the game this weekend. I think any time there's a uh, high-profile event like that in the downtown, it's really good. It doesn't benefit us directly, maybe, but it's exciting to have things like that going on in the downtown. And with a great season like the Cats have had this year, it isn't hard to find support all over the community. As for the big game on Saturday... 35 to 17 Bobcats. I'll say 35 to 21 Bobcats. 34, let's give them three. <laughs> Now we're talking with one of the owners, Jim Brown and his wife. They actually go up to the Grizz Stadium and go to the game every year they have the chance. A little bit of a divided family though because their son actually goes to the University of Montana, but it's definitely going to be an exciting weekend for football here in the Treasure State. All right, great. Thanks, Adam. And one of the things that's been going on leading up to